ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy, and today I just want to talk about an issue I was having with this uh, RX Vega 64 GPU that I've been testing recently. So when I was doing all my benchmarking for my upcoming showdown, which will be the next video I put up against the GTX 1080, it was really strange when I would try to do the benchmark at 4K and say Shadow of Mordor or Dirt Rally or even just try open Mass Effect Andromeda or Ghost Recon Wildlands, my whole computer would just reset and turn off. And I was like, what the hell is going on here? I knew it was a PSU issue, a power supply issue, because I had this happen to me a long time ago uh, when I had my GTX 570. And I had a similar issue then, and it was a faulty power supply. But my power supply is the Corsair HX1000i. It's a pretty good one. Uh, platinum, 1000 watt, and I've never had this happen before. So I was trying to figure it out, and then I looked up on, uh, uh, I posted on Twitter, I should say, uh, asking what, well, basically stating that I was having this problem. One of the fans, Diego, he said that I should try different cables, and they ended up fixing it. So thank you very much for that suggestion. So what I was doing, which is what most of you guys probably do, I have a cable here to show you, is you plug in your 8-pin connector into your power supply like normal, and then you have these uh, two cables here, so you kind of daisy chain them together. Uh, you have just your 6 plus 2 connector goes in one, and the other 6 plus 2 goes in the other side. So you just have the single cable going in. It's much easier, um, obviously much more tidy as well, and this is what most people would think to do. And I've done this for all of the graphics cards I've tested in the entirety of the channel. I have a ASUS Strix GTX 1080 Ti in the rig right now, and that just runs off the single cable just fine. However, the Vega just wouldn't do it. I had to run two separate cables, so you just run the, the you know single 8-pin into the PSU, and then one of the 8-pin connectors connected at the end, and then again another full cable into the PSU and then into the graphics card and then it works. So if you're having this issue, maybe that'll help you. I've never seen this before. Uh, Paul over at Paul's Hardware, I asked him on one of his videos because I saw he was using the same power supply as me but he was just using the single cable and you know with the two connectors on the end and he was, wasn't having any problems so I'm not sure what it is. Obviously there can be a difference in quality of you know the, the power supplies even if they're the same model and also maybe the power from the wall is different uh, as he is in the United States. So that was a bit interesting. But we got there in the end and we fixed it. So if you're having that problem, that might help you out. Now another thing I just wanted to touch on was that some people were asking me, uh, can I test the Vega GPU here with uh, the power limits and stuff raised and all of that, you know, it really helps. Now I said I wasn't gonna do that because I test the cards as their out of the box setup is. So the GTX 1080 I'm testing is just put straight in, you know, load up the drivers and go. And the same for this card. I do that because the vast majority of users, that is what they're going to be doing with it. But for the sake of curiosity, I decided to go into Watman. I raised the uh, temperature and fan limits right up so they're right out of the way. And I uh, put the power limit up to 50%. And I ran a bunch of benchmarks to see what difference there was. And on average, at 1080p, honestly, it only added about uh, 2 to maybe 3 frames per second in some of the tests. So a little bit there, but that's nothing noticeable, especially at 1080p. And it pretty much added nothing as you went up uh, higher through the resolution. So you can do it. One downside, I'll say, is boy, is this thing loud when you do that. Oh my goodness. I thought the reference 290X was the loudest graphics card I ever tested, but I think this guy is giving it a good run for its money. It is so loud, it's unbelievable. Well, I'll let you judge for yourself. This is what it sounds like when you raise that fan and uh, temperature limit right up. So yeah, it's just absolutely excessive. It sounds like a jet engine or, I don't know, like a super powerful vacuum cleaner or something like that. I mean, when we tested the 290X and 290s back in the day, um, the reference ones when they first came out, everyone was like, wow. Uh, the 7970 reference was also pretty loud, but this is just unbelievable. Like, seriously, guys. 
Uh, yeah, so very, very loud. But that's how I'll leave this video. So the showdown will be coming up next. This is one of the issues I've had with my testing, so I'll carry on with it now. Uh, and so far, it has been quite interesting, but I'll address that more in the showdown. So subscribe to my channel, Tech Showdown, so you catch that as soon as it drops. And of course, like the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.